Now at 6, we are getting our first look inside a tense police standoff earlier this week when a man opened fire on officers, leading to an hours-long standoff. Those police officers literally dodged bullets Monday night. Yeah, some crazy video here, but the good news is no one was hurt. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Doral, where this all went down with more on this just-released video. Hank. Well, we were here on Monday night, and we had absolutely no idea what was going on on the sixth floor, other than we knew that shots were fired. Now we get to see the police body cam video. Let's take a look. And I heard that crack, crack, and I'm like, oh, that was a gunshot. CBS 4 cameras there. Monday, Durrell, a standoff at the Manor's condo, 84th and 33rd Street. 911 had been called, a robbery in progress. Upstairs on the sixth floor, intense, real time, and dangerous drama. Shots had been fired inside a condo. Cops staged outside, body cameras rolling. Open the door! Open the door! You say there's two people in the Put your hands up and open the door! Sorry, Mr. Rob, you want to take me? From another officer's body cam as the armed person inside the condo shoots at officers with a shotgun. No one heard. Eventually, the armed individual surrenders to Doral police and winds up in court. Good afternoon, sir. You're being charged with three counts of um, second-degree murder with a aggravated battery. It's booked as an attempt, is it? Yes. Okay. T three counts of attempted murder and one count of display or use of a firearm while committing a felony and discharging a firearm in public. Former professional soccer player, 34-year-old Sergio Van Canton, lucky to be alive, admitted the 911 call was a fake, facing major jail time for shooting at police officers after cops say he admitted taking drugs all day long on Monday. Well, Van Catton made a uh, second court appearance. He's no longer in the county jail. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.